Good afternoon from the garden in the Ventura. It's a little bit chilly. It's the 24th of January. I've only been here about half an hour and the hands are already going numb. So, um, this time of year, people probably think there's not much to do. In fact, for me, there is lots to do. I'd love to be at home, nice and warm. But, oh, my shed's messy already. I need to retidy that again. Um, I've been doing a lot of digging, <laughs> unfortunately, and found what's possibly asbestos sheets. Sheeting. So, guys, a lot of my tears. Um, please don't bury rubbish. Um, this was found about a foot down, and I've got to get it checked. Because I will get rid of this responsibly. See if it's asbestos. I don't have a car. So I can't just bag it and take it down the tip. Um, some tips don't ex uh, accept stuff like this because they don't have the facilities. I don't even know if my tip does. Anyway. On a good note. I need to take this area. I need to change this netting, but this is filling up nicely. Oh, fantastic! Um, huge, huge water storage area. So I might get a tap on that. I've had a tree cut down that wasn't fruity, so I did come down Saturday just to sort this out, and I was only going to spend a couple of hours here. Yeah, I ended up spending all day here on Saturday and doing a different job. So let's get past. I do have Mr Robin around somewhere watching me. If I stand still long enough, he'll come and perch somewhere and watch me. But I want to get through. So that's what I did Saturday. I'm a compost. Yeah, Um this is my uh, chicken waste and vegetable scraps that I've just started this year. Let's move it back a bit. So I use, um, for my chickens I use hemp bedding. I um, don't know if I've mentioned it on any previous videos. Um, the year before, I used to use a fine sawdust and it used to take a really, really long time to compost down. This can take a long time to compost down. However, <clears throat> I find that uh, if I put this in pots with plants, that the plants seem to prefer this and thrive much better in this than I did with the um, compost that was made with sawdust and even if I um, mess up a little bit they still seem to thrive so yeah um, hemp bedding makes seems to make much better compost than sawdust bedding so yeah absolutely love the hemp bedding stuff so, yes, I broke my fork. So I'll leave this here now to disturb my compost because we've had rodent visitors. Um, they say to disturb it quite regularly. Just try and deter them from coming back. Um, this is only a few months old, as you can tell. So, yeah, I um, don't know if I've done a video of this yet, but um, when I recovered this, I ordered a square material for this. And I had some help to recover it, but it was a rectangular piece, so I ended up having to cut it. Um, I don't think I've done a fantastic job. I did have some help. But um, when it came to cutting, 
when it come to a bit further down I got a little bit too eager with helping and I love having help but because they were so eager they rushed it a bit and yes it went a bit skewy I really 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 appreciated the help but I just wish I wasn't so eager so but mind you sometimes I can be just as bad and just rush off ahead like a bull in a china shop I suppose um, but yeah I'm not I'm not that pleased with the finished product to be honest so um, later on in the year probably source some more material and see if I can get it in a square big square piece so I could do cover it in one go without having to cut it because this doesn't look that great really to be honest I'm really disappointed with it um, I suppose it's not too bad it'll do the job for now but it's not as tidy as I wanted it it's not as tight and it's not as tidy so quite disappointed okay my perennial fedge area so um, I'm really really happy with this however I would have preferred to have waited before I got it but circumstances where the other plot holder that was taken over this plot didn't want it so it's a case I needed to get it now but there's a debate can you help Hmm, cardoon or globe artichoke? <laughs> um, I imagine it looks like there's more than one flowering stem. I think there's about uh, four or five flowering stems. But the research that I did on these is you can eat the stalks um, when cooking them the same as you can a celery stalk but it has a kind of a nutty kind of flavour mm, not sure so that'll be an interesting experiment because I do like sometimes to add a bit of celery to stew so that would be a fantastic experiment I need to give that one a bit of a bit of TLC um, I haven't seen to that one yet but when I was digging it up a bit of root came up with a, a leaf on it so I've took that one home and that seems to be doing brilliantly Whereas this one seems to be struggling a bit but we don't know if this is globe artichoke or cardoon there's a bit of debate on the allotment at the moment one person says she grew it from seed and she said it was globe artichoke plot holders that had it said it was cardoon um, uh, an expert on here and she is an expert she's got qualifications and if it said it's also cardoon um, this is an old flower off it So, actually, here we go. I don't know if that will help. So the flowers look like they might have been quite small. So could it be a cardoon? I am going to get some cardoon seeds though, just in case. Yeah close a lot so there's one two quite a tiny one there three four five six flowers on this so it looks like it could be cardu oh another one's dropped on here seven 
quite possibly a car do. So yeah, apparently you can eat the stems the same way as a celery when cooked. So this is going to be my artichoke choke bag. Excuse the mess, this is what I've been picking up out there, there when I was doing the fencing. This is going to be my artichoke bed. A bit small I know, but I'm going to possibly do another one with a different variety. Oh, excuse my sniffling nose. Blooming cold. And then I'm going to be painting this. And this time I didn't have a DIY nightmare. I didn't have hammer flying one way, nails flying the other, and swear words in the middle. <laughs> I didn't do too bad. So the advice was that I was given on Saturday was to bury this, which I've done, and to screw some mud up at the top. But I wasn't going to be sawing little pieces of wood and then putting a little piece there. I thought, nah, it's going to be so much quicker just get the longest pieces of wood I could and just go across, and which is exactly what I did. Save so much time. But then I was offered the lift home about four o'clock yesterday. And in my rush, I put the long screws back in my, po uh, in my pocket. And I've left it on my own, and now I can't finish the job today. So I should just have to crack on with the painting. So that's my job for this afternoon while my hands are going numb. So what DIY jobs are you doing? And can anybody help me with the car doing or globe artichoke debate? Yeah. That is the question. <laughs> anyway, whatever it is you're doing, I hope you're having a fantastic week. And stay safe, everyone. Bye.